Hello, everybody. This is Patrick and Bryce with Stone Security. Today's uh, webisode is going to be how to design a layout and pr for printing a badge in S2. Uh, without further ado, Bryce Fuller. Thanks, Pat. Um, so we're going to show how to design a badge layout. Uh, to do that, um, obviously, you have to have badging on your uh, S2. You'll find it here in the administration tab. You can open up badge layout. And if, and if you don't have uh, badging, you can always just reach out to our sales team and we can get you that quoted to add to your system. Go ahead, Bryce. Thank you. Um, so to add a new layout, you will just click add. Name it. And then it's going to go through a couple of steps at the beginning. Uh, so CR80 is the normal badges that we've been using with all of our customers for a long time. Um, this will allow you to do dual side. A lot of people who have issues when they're printing a badge don't realize that they have dual side turned on. And so that it actually will print two cards out if you don't have a dual sided printer. So if you only have a single side, uncheck that and leave it. If you want the badge to be landscape or portrait, choose whichever one you'd like it to be in. And then you're going to see the field here. So the background is blank, which is what you see the check field here. Uh, so there's three different field elements that you can put out there. So in the basic, you can put text and image like your company logo. Um, you can put any of those things out there and that's going to be the same on every badge in the basic elements. The template fields, so let's actually drag this out there. Security. Up towards the top. So then in uh, the template fields, this is what actually pulls information from the person's profile. So their first name, their last name, any of the information that varies from person to person, this will actually pull that information from their profile. So we're going to put their first name, their last name, and we're actually going to put their ID picture on there. Um, we'll put their signature up there if they have one entered into S2. And then you can also add in barcodes as well. Uh, you can put their employee ID number on there. And we'll actually select all of these um, by just clicking and dragging across all of them. And we're going to center all of them on the page. Um, and you can actually uh, center the text as well so that it stays in the middle over here in the right in the properties field. And that way it will print out um, perfect. Everything's aligned in the middle. Uh, so then uh, you can put other custom fields. So if you have departments, uh, you can put um, who their manager is, what areas they're supposed to be in. You can put all of that into the uh, into the fields form here, um, and and it'll drag over there. Once you're done, you can click the save up here at the top. It'll process. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to save into the database. And normally it saves perfectly. Uh, 
Um, that's all good. I mean, yeah, and that's all that there is to it. What yep. we're trying to do. Okay. Well, that was awesome, Bryce. Very simple. Um, drag and drop, pretty much. Um, so that's designing a layout for printing a badge nest too. Uh, look for other webisodes on our channel. Um, and if you have any questions, always reach out to our support team, support at stonesecurity.net. Thanks, Bryce. Thanks, Pat.